Okay, so hi everyone, welcome to Euron and uh, guys in this video I am going to talk about basically a very very important concept. So how you will be able to expose your entire tool, the MCP tool that you are going to create uh, to a cloud day or there is a tool called as MCP inspector. So how I will be able to configure a MCP inspector and the complete ecosystem about a MCP. So where any kind of a custom code which I am going to take, so any kind of a custom code I will be able to convert it eventually into uh, basically uh, like a, a tool for a MCP server for my cloud or for my MCP inspector. So this is something that I'm going to discuss guys. So let's try, try to start from a beginning from the very very scratch. So here try to open up a VS code basically and uh, we have to do a configuration for MCP right we have to do a configuration for a MCP. So what you have to do in a very first place so in a very first place, you have to do an installation of a couple of new libraries basically, right? So what kind of a library you have to configure, what kind of a library you have to install. Let's uh, talk about it one by one. So there is something called as UV package manager. So you have to configure that UV package manager uh, so that you will be able to use it uh, for your MCP setup. So how I will be able to uh, configure basically this uh, UV package manager. Let's try to understand that part. It's a very small command by the way. So you can try to go to PowerShell and you can try to just execute PowerShell execute policy bypass and then this one and in this way it will be able to execute UV and UV package manager and now UV package manager will be available to all of you. This command I'm going to anyhow give it to you inside your like a uh, documentation. Okay. So once this command will be executed, just execute this command in PowerShell and similar command you will be able to find out even for a Mac OS or even for a uh, Linux machine. So and again I am going to attach even a URL so that you all will be able to follow along without any kind of a pain. So this is a UV is installation is required. I am not going to talk much about it but yeah just install the UV. So UV is basically a package manager. Once installation for the UV is done then do what? So then try to open up a VS code where we are going to write our own custom. So own custom uh, basically like a function. Uh, any kind of function that you want you can try to write down. So here uh, basically what I can do is I can try to create a new folder. So let's start with the fresh folder over here and uh, MCP tool demo. So this is the folder which I am going to create MCP tool demo. Now inside that what we can do is uh, so basically we have to create a complete boilerplate code. So by which I will be able to create a MCP server, I will be able to interact with the MCP instructor. A lot of things I have to create. So simple, open up your terminal guys. So open up your terminal over here and then let's start writing a boilerplate over here, right? So how I will be able to create a boilerplate? Again, it's easy. So if your entire installation is done uh, or your entire installation, uh, UV installation is done, right? So if your UV installation is done, so in that case, it is not going to be painful at all. It is going to be very, 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 very easy. So let's try to see. So how I can try to do a, a configuration over here, a boilerplate configuration. So there is a command called as UV UV and then INIT initialize and then you can try to give your uh, server uh, like a or folder name basically. So MCP, let's suppose demo underscore SER VER server. Okay, fine. So initialize the project as you can see. So you will be able to find out this entire boilerplate. So read me then TOML file and then like a main file, Python version, git ignore everything you are able to find out. Now what I can do is I can try to get into a MCP demo server. So I'm now inside my MCP demo server and here so I can go and I can try to create maybe a, a tools over here. If I'll show you the main file. So there is nothing as of now. It's just a boilerplate code. Yeah, just a boilerplate code. Now, so if I have to install our dependencies over here, all the project dependencies. So UV and then I can write add and then I can write basically uh, MCP mcp cl sorry so mcp should be outside so mcp and the cli okay so it's a mistake uv add mcp cli and then this one okay so it is going to add all the dependencies as you can see. So it is going to add all the dependencies over here. Fine. So dependencies is done. All the setup is already done over here. 
Now what we can do is, so we can maybe try to create our own custom. So we can try to create technically our own uh, custom uh, like a uh, logic or functions. And again, with the help of those own custom logic and functions, so I will be able to do some sort of a operations over here. So here, <clears throat> what I can do is I can go and I can try to create a, a new directory over here. So new folder tools so that I can create n number of tools over here. So without any kind of a restriction, so tools. And then inside a tool, so I'm going to create one file called as plagiarism checker. So P L A G I G I A R I S M plagiarism underscore checker dot pi file. So here I'm going to write my own custom logic and uh, just uh, I have to create I N I T to avoid some unwanted circumstances. Okay, to recognize the package. So here there is a plagiarism checker file and what I can do is so I can try to keep a complete code which is going to check a plagiarism. So as you can see this is the custom code and don't go after the code as of now uh, like uh, in a layman way. So what I'm trying to do over here is that uh, I have written my own function so which is trying to consume a surfer API which has been used for the Google search. And finally I'm going to pass some of the data and it is going to check the plagiarism from the internet and going to give me a score on output. That's it. Right, so this is my own custom tool. Now I want this tool to be called from a cloud. Eh? I want this tool to be called from maybe OpenAI, and I want this tool uh, to be called from any other, like a uh, interface. Uh, so which supports basically model context protocol. So that's completely fine. So this is a custom code I have created. As of now, I have not done the implementation or I have not exposed it towards a MCP. So I have not exposed it at all towards a MCP. So how I will be able to expose it towards a MCP? Let's try to understand that particular part. So here, I'll just go to main uh, file. So the main.py file that I have created. And let's suppose, so this is my main file. I can, I can just try to create an, any other files as well. That's completely fine. But let's suppose this is a main file and I'm going to use this main file to uh, invoke any number of tools, not just one single tool. So maybe I can create 10 tools and 10 tools I will be able to invoke. So first of all, I'm trying to invoke this particular tool. Uh, so basically, plagiarism checker and uh, there is a function called a check plagiarism tool which is available over here. So let's suppose I'm trying to import this particular package, the custom one which I have created, the custom tool which I have created. Now, so fast MCP, so MCP instance I have created MCP tool and then check plagiarism. I'm doing nothing. I'm just trying to call this one. So this decorator, this decorator is technically going to basically uh, invoke a tools and it is like uh, with the help of that, I will be able to test it with the cloud day, with the open AI or maybe with the inspector as simple as that. So here, this particular tool is uh, basically, uh, this is trying to convert this entire function into a tool. Now this function should be visible. This function should be visible to my cloud and everyone. Okay, so once this is done, now what is next that we have to do? So we have to basically attach this one, right? We have to attach uh, uh, like a, uh, um, so to run this things, entire things standalone mode, so we can do what we can do MCP run and then uh, UV run MCP I can do. So it is going to uh, run it in an independent way. If I have to attach it, if I have to attach it to the uh, server, right? So if I have to attach this entire things to the server, so what I can do is, so here I can try to write MCP install and then main.py, main.py. So if I'm going to do this, so MCP install main.py. So if I'm going to do this, what will happen in this situation? So in this situation, it is going to attach my MCP to this cloud environment automatically. I can go and I can cross, cross check as well. So I can go to file, I can go to settings and then over here inside a developer, if I'm going to check on edit configuration. So this is the file uh, configuration file you will be able to find out. I'm going to go and check this particular file and uh, you will be amazed that uh, yeah, this is the main.py file. MCP tool demo uh, I have created, right? And it has attached for my MCP, a cloud MCP, right? It has attached inside this one, as simple as that. So this tool is available. Maybe what I have to do is I have to like uh, go and I have to exit. And sometime even I have to use my like a task manager to close it. And then once I'm going to open it up again, so in some time, right? It is going to take some time. That's the reason I said, so it's a little bit like a tedious one. 
so your check plagiarism will be available your check plagiarism will be available after some time yeah so fine this is one of the way i can try to test it inside a cloud day there is a another way without even using a cloud day you all will be able to check this entire things how so with the help of inspector so in, there is something called as mcp inspector and with the help of mcp inspector you all will be able to test the entire things without even uh, like a you know using a cloud day so this is my mcp instructor interface now how i will be able to get this entire instruct uh, inspector interface let's try to understand that, that particular part so how i can try to invoke the inspector and how uh, like a uh, inspector is going to basically uh, work for me and it is it is going to help me out in terms of like uh, invoking this entire things so to invoke the inspector as of now what we can do is so we can try to execute this command let me show you that command first yeah so here uh, let me close this entire things as of now and command is already given so i'm going to attach this uh, entire url uh, for you but yeah so as of now let's uh, try to execute this one in inspector mode so here mcp ins pc tor mcp inspector so no such command called as mcp inspector which is available that's completely fine so here what you can do is you can try to call this command so npx model context protocol slash inspector and then i'm trying to run python python what main dot py file yeah so this single command is going to start a interface basically so as you can see on this particular url it is going to start the interface where you will be able to test your entire tool so whatever tool that you are trying to attach you will be able to so even you can touch it inside the cloud in or even you can try to test it inside the inspector just with one single command and without even doing an installation of a this one so as you can see this is the instructor inspector interface i have just copied and pasted the same url as you can see this url right same url i have copied and pasted now i can try to click on connect and try to check uh, with the main.py file yeah so i can connect and i can try to check so there is some error it is trying to give me so user okay so this is basically a warning this is not a error okay it's just a warning it has given and then it is giving you this kind of interface now click on tools right we have created a tools basically so list tool so what tool we have created check plagiarism tool we have created okay so i'll try to click on check plagiarism and then i can try to basically write like uh, my name is i'm, I'm just trying to write, write like a very simple things sudanshu kumar i used to teach at uron um i love tech and tech and mcp okay and then click on run tool so it is going to basically call my plagiarism checker the uh, like a um, function that i have written basically it is going to check and again you will be able to trace it over here even that which file it is trying to invoke and how it is trying to invoke and in this way i am able to create a true mcp as you can see a true mcp i am able to create now doesn't matter what kind of a function i have doesn't matter whether it's a small one big one complex one i will be able to convert so what is the learning takeaway guys the learning takeaway from this tutorial this entire lecture is i can create any kind of a tool any kind of a function into a mcp i will be able to convert into it and uh, i will be able to even like uh, chat with it check plagiarism so maybe i can try to invoke it inside a cloud eh? right so check plagiarism my uh, name is sudhan shu something like that i'm going to pass so not passing like a uh, much and let's see so whether it is able to uh, yeah so as you can see it is able to invoke my tool calling so from cloud a i'm able to invoke my this one so allow for this chat and uh, text my name is sudhan shu and uh, it is going to check a plagiarism based on the function which i have attached so cloud a is not calling uh it's in built llm model it is trying to call actually my plagiarism checker and then based on that it is trying to basically do this kind of a operation yes 
So from cloud we are able to test it and even from a MCP inspector. So let's suppose if I don't want to install a cloud that's completely fine. But uh, from cloud I will be able to test it and even from a MCP inspector, I'm able to test it. So hope uh, you all are going to find this entire tutorial amazing. I'm going to attach a code and everything inside your dashboard so that you know, uh, you all can go through it and you all will be able to practice it. Inside a comment box guys, uh, do let me know. So what is your thought? What is your feeling if you're getting stuck somewhere? Please ping me into a comment. Try to create as many MCP tool as possible as per your need. Uh, the way I have created like a, a custom one, right? Right now, any kind of a custom logic and then try to test it through an inspector. Try to test it through a cloud day. Now to attach to the cloud day, just you have to call MCP install and then file name. So wherever you are trying to do a tool calling and for like a, a, this inspector. So simple this and then your main file. So wherever you are trying to create the call the tool. But before that, UV installation. Yeah. So each and every step I'm going to mention. With that, guys, thank you so much. Hope all of you are enjoying your life and uh, see you again in my next lecture.